Hi, I'm Rob with Precision Zone, and we're going to be going over the procedure on how to adjust the orientation point on a CIMR MT3 spindle drive with a encoder orientation board. Now that we have the machine powered on and we're staring at the orientation board, we're going to be using switch one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine to be making the adjustments. Switch four, it's currently in position F. We put it to zero, and then this is the value that is set for where the spindle is going to orientate. So let's go ahead and command the machine to run, and we'll command and orientate. So you can see that our spindle is now running at 559 RPM, and I'm gonna be using switch four again to bring us into that status display where the bits are displayed. I'm going to go ahead and command the spindle to orientate. And you'll see that these two bits become illuminated. And that is telling us that the spindle has orientated correctly. Now if you can see the position that the spindle head is in, once we make the changes, that is going to change. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is power off the machine so we can make adjustments to the orientation board. Now that the drive is powered off, we're going to be making two adjustments to the switch 5 here. Position 1 will change and position 8 is going to change. Now once those two are changed, let's go ahead and power the machine back on. Now we're at the status display and we're going to take switch 4 and move it to position 1 and this displays the value of where that spindle head stops. Switch 6, 7, 8, and 9 will change these numbers Now that we've changed those values, this actually doesn't mean anything specific to a machine. I just changed it to this as an example. Once we have made the changes that we would like to make, you're going to just press switch one, and then you're going to press and hold switch two. The display will flash and the changes were accepted. The next thing that we're gonna have to do is power back off the machine and change those two switches back to the position that they were in. So go ahead and change switch one back and switch eight back. Now let's cycle back on the machine. And you can see that this change was taken hold. We're going to move switch four back into the status display and I'm gonna go ahead and command the spindle to run. So now we're currently running at 681 RPM and we're gonna go ahead and command the machine to orient again. Now that we have these bits showing up, we know that the machine is orientated properly. Now let's see where the spindle moved to. So we can see that now it's in a different position, so the changes have been made. And you're gonna to have to find out exactly at what position your spindle head needs to orientate by adjusting those numbers. The biggest problem that we have with these orientation boards are the four switches. These go bad and so changes can't be made. And at that point, your drive will need to come in for a repair. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always find us at precisionzone.com. Thanks for watching.